Howdy guys, it's Tachi, and welcome to a game that I've been wanting to play for quite a while. As far as I know, there are no Let's Plays of Wizardry 8. Now there are people playing the game, but there's no commentary on top of them. Now, myself, I've never beaten the game. I did come uh, very close to it a long, long time ago when I was a kid. Um, this is probably one of me and my brother's favorite games from our childhood. Uh, we both played this beside each other when we played. I bought the box copy when it was a game, and my mom threw a fit because it cost quite a bit of money. So we're going to start a new game here. And as you can see, I've made my team already. I have a priest right here. I have a psionicus at the top. I meant to say psionic first. I got a gadgeteer. For some reason, I like gadgeteers. I have a ranger, I have a samurai, and I have a warrior. Now, we're going to click on the warrior first because we want them in the front lines. A ranger, gadgeton, gadget, 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 gadgeteer, sorry, priest, and psionic. And um, we're going to do normal mode, and we're going to start. I don't know if this is going to record or not. I can't see it, but I see... He was an escort for a long voyage. Okay. He didn't say a word about where he was going or how long it would take. You were astonished to see such a huge metal ship. Grimpak must be a very great wizard to make such a thing sail. As soon as you entered, the ship set sail. That metal ship went straight up making a sound like a thousand angry dragons. For a long time, you sailed through the endless night. Then, at last, Grimpak broke his long silence. The time has come to tell you the purpose of my trip. My fellow Mook have discovered an extremely unusual artifact. This has led them to a world called Dominus, where they are investigating a native ritual called the Ascension. They have asked me to assist, but there is some danger involved, so I have brought you along as protection. We will be landing shortly. Our descent may be a bit difficult. As you begin your descent, your craft comes under the baleful watch of the Dark Savant and his black ship. Master, we have detected a ship I arrived too late to stop the others, but these intruders will never enter the circle! What should I do? Destroy them! The shock of the attack throws you to the deck. For a time, all is dark. Slowly, your senses return. You have washed up on a beach among the rest of the crash debris. It's a miracle that you're still alive, but your biggest challenge is still ahead of you. Your ship is gone. You're stranded on a strange world, and somewhere far above, the dark savant awaits. You turn toward shore and plan your next okay. move. I don't know if it did. Uh, my screen is acting a little weird. You got to remember that I use a capture card. Uh, now, don't you fret. We are a bit lost, but think of it this way: a little mystery makes things more exciting. <laughs> Ready and willing. So we're going to take a look at what we have for equipment. Let's make sure we put the uh, the actual ammo where we need to go. They don't start with ammo in the right spots. We have some potions in our bag. We have a cure poison. We have all that. Um, like I said, warrior, samurai, ranger, gadget, priest, psy psionic. Each of them have different skills. Now, as you can see, this is a three-dimensional game. And it's uh, sort of, I guess you'd call it open world. We're just going to send that to the party. And we're going to do our first battle. Let me at him. 
So if I go through this kind of fast, just know that I'll be explaining a few things later. Understood. Samurai is fine. I didn't use. I don't usually go with the samurai. That's why I decided to do it this time. As you can tell, this is turn-based. If you look at the bottom right where my mouse is, you'll see the party formation, which you can split into any size you want. The left on the left auto map is where you are, depending on where your uh, the enemies are. If you also look at the right side, the formation, you can also see what side they are looking towards. I usually always do berserks with fighters. Um, Yes. I put the wrong ammo in the wrong spot, so let's keep going. The psionic can use a... There we go. Now, um, this game is very punishing. Very, very punishing. So now, now is that... that was fun. There we go. Spot on the creature. So um, when we camp, we'll always camp with our backs to the wall. Camping gives our health, our stamina, and no, 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 no. I want a quick save. But I think. Whatever you do, you do not want to um, alt and tab. Alt and tab pretty much breaks this game. Where is quick save? Quick save load shift Q. Shift Q. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played. Okay, Q is quick save, shift Q loads it. More stuff! I'll get it. Ah, you can see the stuff on if we turn searching everybody will search now we're ah more stones for gadget found nothing and first thing we're gonna do is uh, go up here and look at the, uh, the shipwrecked now this game was a uh, quite a beauty back when the game came up first came out and uh, I think it's still held to uh, today's, you know. Hey, look! I must have dropped that. Came up empty. I mean, it's not the best-looking game in the world, but you got to consider when this Careful, game was everyone. made. This doesn't feel right. We got a big battle here. What must be done must be so done. So we're going to use uh, breathe. All draconians care of. can breathe. We're going to use our With priest pleasure. to pray. We're going to uh, sleep. Everybody, we can. Understood. And that should be it for now. They'll do their turns, then we'll do ours, and you'll notice how the, the flow of the game happens. I like Psionics a little bit better for their crowd control, as you can see with the uh, being able to sleep. Uh, mind stab actually turns out to be pretty good as well. You turn people insane. It's quite uh quite fun. Let's do the dragon breath again. Taking care so if you look at our spell book, you'll notice that we have different different um, affinities. So we have fire, water, wind, mental, earth, and pity, which is divine. So we're going to make wounds on With somebody. Pleasure. We're going to tell it to cast uh, Mind Stab. Eh. Understood. Green is fine. Later on, we'll get more uh, more uh, spells, which we'll go through when we level up in a bit. Now, these episodes are going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be doing 30-minute uh, episodes, just because this game takes 
forever to play. And I'd like to have a good uh, intro and um, exit, you know, an outro. Oh. We can also move to, um, let's do a heal wounds on, uh, no, we don't need to. Let's do another make wounds. As you can see, the wheel there, it shows you the chance that you have that you're going to, uh, defeat the enemy. Right now, if you look, we can't see how many hit points, uh, or experience they drop or how much stamina they have. But later on, with our, uh, our skills that we have, Oh, 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 and that's a reload. Yep, well, that happened. So if a character dies, you're pretty much, uh, SOL. You might as well restart. There are a few, um, resurrection potions, but there's not enough to, uh, to do it. And this game is very tough. I sense something moving. More stuff. I'll get it. Now let's try that I'm battle up again. A very bad energy here, so be careful. I don't know how should they hit her from behind. Taken care of. But let's pray. With pleasure. We'll use a mind stab. Understood. Understood. And um, let's just have you defend, done. Sam. the models on the crabs. I mean, they're just, uh, they're really good. Oh, okay. Oh! What we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, heal there. With pleasure. I've never really had a samurai. Oh my god, are you kidding me? The fucking luck. The luck in this is crazy. I've never had this bad of a time with these starting mobs here. Like I said, the very beginning of the game is, uh... It's... It's kind of tough. So let's try that again. A creature approaches. More stuff! I'll get it. Let's go ahead and quick save while we're this close. Careful, everyone. This doesn't feel right. So let's try this for a, what a third time. Taken care of. Let's pray. Pleasure. Actually, what's uh, what's sleep all these crabs? Understood. Just been unlucky with the combat. Now this is gonna this is not gonna be a perfect run. I will die and die off. There are uh, it does get a little bit easier the longer you get. As you can notice, there's two empty spaces up there. We'll get two more party members. We'll be able to surround our casters and our weaker our weaker members of the party. My fighter will probably be a tank. There we go. One of the reasons why I like, uh... With pleasure. Why I like, uh... The Berserk skill. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Worrying about the, uh... Worrying about everything. Uh, she got hit four times. I mean, she got to attack four times, which is quite good. As you can see, he went insane. Debuff. It looks like we might actually be able to. Uh... Yeah, there we go. 
Let me just go for a normal attack next time. Taking care of. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. There we go. We did it. Not enough for a level first. Now. Hey, look, I must have dropped that. More stuff. I'll get it. Uh, let's send everything to our priest. The unidentified things. There's a sling for our samurai. Now we're going to sleep with our back to a wall. We'll camp. We'll restore our health, stamina, and mana. As you can see, the bars here red is health, yellow is stamina, and blue, of course, is mana. Let's look at the inventory. We're going to, first of all, we're going to uh, send most of our stuff to the priest, but we don't need that. We did get a skull cap. It's not cursed. We don't have to worry about cursed items for a while. Here's another axe. We have some upper chain that's unidentified. What we're going to do is we're going to split these if I remember to do it. Is that it? And we're going to give, uh, yeah, there we go. Left, right. So it should be middle middle okay the party does uh, only contain a few things the question mark means they're unidentified which we'll, uh, we'll get a, a spell with our priest later on to deal with that and that's pretty much everything from where we want to be now I don't know how well this is gonna work I did buy the game on Steam Ooh. You can see that um, graphics are a little bit weird. Oh, more crabs. Uh, you go on and fight. I'll guard the rear. So what we're going to do here. You notice you automatically switch to being thrown. Understood. No, we're not going to mind that. We're going to uh, sleep. Taking care of. I've never seen these spawn. Maybe one out of hundred times I've done this intro. As a kid, I've, uh, like I said, I played a lot when I was a kid. So, oh, you can actually see now. We can actually see how much health they have. You can also tell which uh, character you want to hit which mob, which we'll get into that a little bit later on. No damage. Oh. Sucker. As long as you don't hurt my priest again. Let's heal. With pleasure. Let's do a uh, mind stab. Oh, we can't. We can sleep again, though. Understood. One down. Damn. And I do not like them being surrounded, but one down. I've got a scratch or two. Yeah, no kidding. We're gonna heal. With pleasure. And hopefully we can. It'd be nice if you could hit Sam. There you go. That one's gone. Come on. Oh, this is a, this is annoying. 
It will get better though. I'm so we may dead. actually get some levels from this. For now. Ah, you see, we got our uh, sword skills increased. Our uh, close combat and critical strike for Sam. Hey, look! I must have dropped that. We're low on magic, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch our backs to a wall. We're going to camp. I should have quick saved before the camp. Dum dum. We're going to look around. There should be more stones. There's the artifact. Now, we do want to watch this door. I have experienced a glitch before where you open the door, smacks you in the face, and uh, you die. I smell the scent of danger here. So now we're inside the monastery. We'll learn more about the monastery later. I sense something moving. We'll slap him sideways. Yep. Uh, there's the Taking breath. We're gonna go ahead and pray. Pleasure. We're gonna go ahead and sleep. Understood. Ah, she actually hit. There we go. I never boast. Guardian angel. No damage. Yeah, let's just do a regular attack. Care of. Here you go, Sam. I was going to do the walk command to, to walk forward, but he's eventually going to come to us anyway. Or it will eventually come to us, as you can see here. And that's another battle down. Our victory was never in doubt. So like I said, uh, oh, there we go. Backs to the wall, quick save, camp to get all of our stuff back. I pretty much memorized where all the enemies are in this uh, part of the game. I, I've done this monastery, I don't know, 30, 40 times when I was a kid, if not 100. There's some arrows for our ranger. Yes, you have to buy arrows. I'm just looking on the ground. I know there's a few hidden things. This should be locked. Which it is. Now we're fixing to have a... Um, a little bit of a battle here. What must be done, must be done. We're gonna go back to a mine stab. Understood going to pray With pleasure. and wait for him to come to us, but he may spit at us, I don't know. Sakete, run. This is a noxious slime. Yeah, he's going to spit at us. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do a walk. That's what he ended up doing is just ranging us down. And that's what you have to do if you want to uh, change your location. Sometimes it is worth backing <laughs> off and getting in a corner. You gotta protect your rear line. Taking care of. Oh, there we go. I wasn't close enough when I stopped last time. Ah, there we go. Fortune was with us. We should get some uh, levels up here. Great! The best are getting better! It's an honor to be recognized. Darling, I just keep getting better and better. I owe it all to good fortune and positive energy. So, let's, um... Uh, let's turn our search back on. And it says, these books include some exciting tomes as advanced pest management to de-slime your home in three easy steps. This is a book. We're going to give it to our oh, priest. Now this the one book is a of keeper. light. More stuff! I'll get Give it. that to our priest as well. Hey, look! I must have dropped that. You right click and it takes to the party. You can also determine where you want it to go with each person. We're going to read this book. Odyssey. Oh, Odds Day, the twenty-third. Ran out of pickled bloodvine. Ordered more from Ark. Ark. 
Arcana will be going there. Moon Day, the 24th, the prisoners ran out of food again. He's lucky to get anything at all, in my opinion. Lord's Day, the 25th. All was prepared. We did leave today on a great mission. I only wish we did not have to leave the monastery empty. I have the strange feeling I have forgotten something. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> save right here. I'm going to camp, get our life back. Nothing should attack us, but that's the famous last words. As you can see, here are the, uh, the classes that you can make. Later on, when you get enough skills in one, you can actually change classes. Um, I'll go over most of these real quick. Uh, affects the maneuver that requires physical strength from, from hitting creatures to damage done. Strength also influences weapon skills, carrying capacity, and stamina. Um, speed is also uh, speed also influences combat skills at very high or low levels. Speed can also affect a character's armor class. Senses, we don't need so much. Uh, vitality is health. Affects the amount of hit points. Piety is uh, divinity. That's, you know, spell casting. Intelligence is what you would think. Uh, schools of magic. Dexterity is, uh, affects the chance to hit, which is uh, the problem that we've been having a lot. So let's go ahead and put three points into that. Three points into strength. We'll go next page. As you can see, we have close combat. Uh, we're not doing dual weapons. We don't need ranged combat. We're going to do axes for right now and a shield because he is our tank. As you can see with the priest, uh, we're going to do vitality because he needs vitality, piety, and a one in intelligence. As you can see, we can learn new spells we don't need light because um because we already have light in the book there's our divinity there's our divine magic communication so when we want to talk to somebody because we will be talking to npcs we will be using communication i really don't need anything for mace and all that here's our psionic i'm just clicking that to see if uh if there's anything we need vitality definitely um uh, Intelligence senses, he's our sensor. There's paralyzed here, wounds, charm, terror, which makes him run away. Charm is not bad since he's already got some in that spell, psionics, anyway. We'll put two to mythology. Is uh, this is about to recognize the monsters, like I was talking about earlier, how you can notice what a monster looks like, how much. Uh, health has. You notice there's one in artifacts occasionally that will level up on their own. So let's just go ahead and put 333. Three, three. Here's our Gadgeteer, which we, as you can see here, I can change to a Ranger, a Bard, or an Alchemist, but I'm not because the Gadgeteer is the only one that can uh, merge items into gadgets. And there are a bunch, uh, quite a few cool gadgets in the game. Locks and traps, which don't, I'm not putting any in here. Uh, that's a little foreshadowing for later. We're going to keep putting in modern weapon. We're going to put range combat and engineering. And uh, that's about 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and quick save. And I'm going to go ahead and save this game as Tachi 1, Tachi 2. So I think this has been a pretty good uh, first episode. If you'd like to see more, remember to like, comment, subscribe. And um, I think I'm going to have fun with this. And I'll see you next time. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. This is Tachi signing out. Have a good day.